Imagine the sky goes bright, but not like sunrise or fireworks. This light has no color you can see, no warmth you can feel. Yet it's powerful enough to tear through our atmosphere and change life on Earth forever. You wouldn't know it was coming until the exact second it arrived. There's no countdown, no warning, no way to prepare. One moment, everything feels normal. The next, a beam of invisible energy traveling at the speed of light smashes into our planet with more force than anything we've ever experienced. Sane and implete. This is what happens when a gamma ray burst. The universe's deadliest beam finds you in its sights. Think of it like the universe's deadliest laser beam, fired from billions of light years away, traveling at the speed of light. It doesn't matter how far it started, the instant we see it, it's already hitting us. That's why there's no escape. The warning time is literally the length of time it takes the light to cross the last few million kilometers to Earth. A couple of minutes at best. So what exactly causes this? Well, out there in the dark, stars much bigger than our sun are living on borrowed time. When one of these giants reaches the end of its life, it can collapse under its own weight, its core imploding and creating a black hole. That collapse doesn't just make a black hole. It unleashes a beam of energy so powerful it makes our sun look like a candle in a stadium floodlight. This beam of gamma rays is narrow, like a sniper shot. And if Earth happens to be in its line of fire, we're done. The moment we detect it, we're already inside it. The burst would fry our atmosphere, blasting apart the ozone layer that protects us from the sun's deadly UV radiation. The surface would be flooded with intense energy, wiping out life in a flash and leaving the survivors facing a scorched, unprotected Earth. Within hours, the oceans and skies would be poisoned. You might think, we can spot this coming from far away. But here's the catch. Light, including gamma rays, travels at, well, the speed of light. That means by the time those signals hit our telescopes, the event happened billions of years ago. There's no advanced radar for light speed disasters. Our entire warning system is just waiting to get hit. But how likely is this really? The good news is gamma ray bursts are rare. Astronomers think one powerful enough to wipe us out probably happens in our galaxy only once every few hundred million years. The bad news is, the universe is really, really old. And we already know a few stars out there could be candidates for this kind of burst in the far future. One of them, WR-104, is about 7,500 light years away and aimed suspiciously close to our direction. Scientists aren't sure if we're in its exact firing line, but if we were, well, let's just say there'd be no goodbye posts on social media. Now imagine somewhere in the galaxy, a massive star collapses, a beam of energy slices through space for thousands of years, and it finally reaches Earth. No fireball in the sky, no sound, just a wave of invisible death rushing at you at 300,000 kilometers per second. Astronomers in observatories would spot it at almost the same second it hit, and by then, it would already be too late. And here's what makes it even more unsettling. We might already be in the countdown right now. Maybe somewhere out there, the beam left its star thousands of years ago and is screaming toward us at this very moment. We wouldn't know until the last few minutes. And then, nothing. Darkness. Silence. Still, scientists study gamma ray bursts all the time. Not just because they're terrifying, but because they're fascinating. They tell us about how stars live and die, how black holes form, and even how elements in our bodies were forged in ancient stellar explosions. These events might be deadly to us, but they're also part of what makes the universe the place it is.